emotional healing, so that's what we're talking about. You can break generational curses. What? That's a crazy claim, Matt. How can you say that? Does scripture say that? What? Does it? How can you? No way. Is that possible? All right, I might blow some minds here because because my mind's blown. So in this three and a half months that I just mentioned, a minute, let's see, what is this? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll save that one for later, Wendy. That's a good comment. <clears throat> so in this three and a half-ish months, I so I played sports my whole life. <laughs> I have to mention this because I mentioned a sport in the story. Mm. And so I've had anger issues my entire life. And if my sister was in the chat, she would say, yeah, oh, my gosh, that dude, when we were, when we were younger, we'd play. Mm. We had, like, an original Nintendo and I, if I lose, I throw the controller down, stomp out, rah, 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 rah. or duck, duck hunt. Anybody remember that? Way I back, way back it. in the day, my original Mario. Do, 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 do. You still remember this? Oh song? yeah, we. Do, 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 what about Pac-Man? You remember this? Song? I don't know if I played that. I one. did. I did play. I did. But I played a lot. Me and my <laughs> sister played so many hours of Mario and. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. When he had that, that nice. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, my whole life, terrible anger. Candace can attest to it, too. Does Matt have anger anymore? Mm, let me keep telling the story. <laughs> so, I've always played some kind of sport. So, I, when I grew up and lived in Atlanta, I played like seven years, I think it was. Baseball? Of Little League Baseball. And Tell them I mean, where we went this weekend. Well, I actually, I actually yeah. went there. Well, we we went there. Mm -hmm. We were visiting some friends in Duluth, which is part of the metro Atlanta mm -hmm. area. And so we were driving through where I used to live, and I'm like, oh no, we're on the, on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, taking, we're gonna make a little taking detour. a detour right before we had to get off Interstate. Was it 285? Yeah, yeah, yeah 285. And we, I've revisited that same park I used to play at, and mm -hmm. Drove by my childhood home in Chambly. Everybody knows what that is. So, so currently the sport I'm playing now is called pickleball. If you don't know what it is, it's okay. It's a silly. It's, it's not just an old person's game. It's a silly name for a sport, but it's super fun. So, yeah. and just like any other sport, I, I mean, when I'm doing bad, I get mad. I even cuss at times. I'll be real, to be honest. I throw the racket. Paddle, yes, a paddle, not a racket. It's not it's tennis. It's similar not tennis. to tennis, but the courts are smaller, and, and you hit a paddle. You hit a wiffle different. ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, that's not the point of this. So, I was playing a spring league, so we'd play like every Monday at like 5:30 p.m. for eight weeks, and so I thought it was fun. I meet a bunch of new people, and I've actually had opportunities for ministry to talk to people about scripture and stuff while playing pickleball and pass out some of my books of a couple guys that are really cool you know who they are mm -hmm. one might be watching later i don't know mm -hmm. he's watched some of my videos but so one one week i think it was week four or five of that and so i mean like i said when i do when i do bad when i'm playing any sport i would get angry so playing pickleball i get angry so the first game we got pickled for anybody that plays that's losing 11 to zero. It's not a good experience ever. So lost that game, lost really bad game two. Then game three, we're losing. And I, I had one of those, I know everybody can relate to this. Uh -huh. It's like it's like a epiphany or moment of clarity when everything slows down and, and you get like this, it's like a moment of truth. And so I, I stop and I'm like, whoa, I'm not angry at all. What? And I realized at that moment, while playing this funny sport called pickleball, I, the Abba healed me of my anger. And Candace can attest to this, that this is true. So that's not where it ends. I, I'll pass it to you. I'll pass the mic. It's right. Y'all can't see it. Oh, there it is. Right there. In the indigenous culture, they pass the button. Here, pass the mic. Now you share <laughs> the rest of it and tie it into okay. how a generational curse was broke. Oh, man, guys, this was. Okay, so Matt had been working on um, through the, we talked about this before, through the feelings book. Now, 
Ava can use all different sources. You don't need to have this book or any book for that matter. We just need Ava, but he does help us in certain cases. Those are resources. Yeah, resources, but he should be the source um, to all healing. And, and of course, we need our Messiah to come in there, you know, to be that door for us to receive that healing. And so Matt, for about two to three months, um, consistently was going through this book. Um, you you told me two to three months. You had just been working on Yes. Um, I don't know if it was that long. I do it periodically off and on. But I did, like, I was, I'm going to commit to a month and then <laughs> ended up not making it. But I was Okay, like, so should we say, like, because I know you weren't doing it every single day, but you were consistent about it. A month regularly. or two? I guess you could say that to be accurate. Accurate. Okay, well, I thought it was two to three months, so I'll just say about two. But I did it a decent amount, let's just say that. Okay, well, the point is, it doesn't matter how long you did it, the point is that something positive came out of the timeline. Very positive. Okay, so he had been working on this for two-ish months. There you go. Okay, <laughs> and he had just specifically been working on the spirit of anger and calling that out and going through this the script that's in this book and you know and there's part of the script it's a prayer you know a prayer of deliverance yeah, basically and and so he had been going through that for a while well the reason was because he had planters warts and he still has the planters warts on his right foot right now in the book it shows the spiritual things that you're battling and how they manifest into the physical realm through sicknesses and diseases, which it talks about all of these in Deuteronomy 28. And so um, when uh, when he started working on this for a couple of months, one day he comes to me after pickleball, after the epiphany or whatever, and he <laughs> said, Abba delivered me of the spirit of anger. And so I sat back, and I'll be honest with you all guys, I was like, I'm going to judge the fruit. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens, you know. I mean, we're supposed to do that. It doesn't matter if it's your spouse, yeah, she was there. anybody. You know, you've got to sit back and you've got to see if this fruit is real, you know, because actions, you know, speak louder than words, yep. right? So uh, after he said that, I just kind of sat on it, you know, to see, because I would know for sure if this really did happen. Pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and during that time period... I told Matt, I'm like, what's going on with your dad? What is happening with your dad? So we're like, just we're for like, just for context, before all this happened, he mm. just try, trying to be as loving as possible, not super judgmental. But he he was very hard to deal with at times, hard to talk to, wouldn't open up to you, get pretty angry quickly. Well, I would in avoid conversations. Him. Candace would avoid him like the plague at times. I did. All right, now now I was like walking on eggshells. You know, so, all the time. Back to... And so it was it, it was just for me, I can't speak for Matt, but for me, this house, I could just I, I told Matt I'm like, we're not living here very long. This isn't good for my, for our mental health. And he agreed. And um, so we knew that we were battling against the spiritual principalities of darkness. We knew that's what was going on, you know, within ourselves, but also, yep. you know, in this house with somebody else who's not, doesn't even care to work on themselves. And so during that week, um, we're sitting on the edges of our seats, guys. I mean, I'm like, what is going on here? And then all of a sudden, I'm walking down the hallway. And the Ruach HaKodesh comes over me, or the Holy Holy Spirit comes over me. And Abba literally revealed to me that when we work on our spiritual baggage, our junk, our pains, our hurts, we heal our family. And so I was given understanding that Matt had broke a generational curse that he had gotten from his dad and his dad probably got from his dad no time how no far how back tell. it went but no the tell. point was is matt had done the work he had done the footwork the heart work specifically. yeah the footwork the heart work to overcome this 
And in the process of doing this work, I actually was able to curse off of, release that curse off of his father, which, by the way, his dad doesn't have a clue. And that's okay, because we know. <laughs> we know without a shadow of a doubt what happened. Um, so that was... That was so he revealed to Candace that mm -hmm. a generational curse was broke yep. in both of us. And ever since then, guys? There's been a lot more peace in the house. Wow. I mean, like, light and day. What's up, True Seekers? Thanks for watching the video. Do me a favor and hit that like button. Push this message out to more people and feed the algorithm here on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload future videos and so we can stay connected in the future. Thanks and have an amazing rest of your day. Be blessed.